So you might be trying to figure out how you can go ahead and reset your control center on iOS 18. Now, the sad thing is, is that the only way to do this, luckily there is a way to do this, but you have to be on iOS 18.1 and or newer in order to have that actual dedicated reset button. But you can also just kind of reset it yourself manually if you want to. But if you're on iOS 18.1 or newer, what you can do is you can make your way over to your settings application. So I'll write into settings. You then want to go and basically scroll down until you see this control center option, which is right here. So tap on the control center and there should be a reset to default settings option in your control center here. Again, if you're on iOS 18.1 or newer, you should be able to see that. So that is kind of all you're going to have to do there. That's kind of the first thing I'd recommend doing. Now, if you can't do that, the other option you can do is just manually change your control center to make it look like what it is, you know, as of this point. So this is basically what the stock control center looks like. It looks something along the lines of this. So what you can do is you can click on the plus button in the top left corner up here, and you can move the toggles around or just delete the toggles that you don't need or that you're you know, using or whatever. And from there, you should be able to go ahead and kind of get a better idea of basically how to use these toggles. And then you can reset it to exactly what you want it to be. So those are basically the main options that you kind of have here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.